Hey Jans, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a review video and I'm going to review a foundation that has recently been launched in India. It's the Makeup Revolution Fast Base Foundation Stick. There are like a lot of reviews out there but it gets quite confusing because some say it's really good, some say it's not up to the mark. So if you want to see what I think about this uh, product and how it performed and also which shade suits Indian skin tone, keep on watching. So I have the foundation stick in two shades, F5 and F8. Uh, so I got one from Nykaa and one from another uh, Instagram page named Online Makeup Store. So Online Makeup Store, it's not always available because they don't keep stock of the foundation. So you can't purchase from them every time. Only when they have this sale going on, can you purchase it. Uh, so otherwise you can get this on Nykaa and also you can try at chokimakeup.com because I have seen advertisements of the foundation stick in their website as well. Uh, so these foundation sticks are available in 18 shades and I got F5 and F8 because I was confused about the shade that will suit me. Talking about a packaging, it's a very sturdy, classy packaging. It comes in this beige, baby, baby beige and baby pink kind of uh, outer covering and then there's this gold rim and rose gold rim and when you open it, you see the entire upper part is rose gold and it's very pretty. I love anything that's rose gold and pink. This combination is super pretty. You have the shade name written here uh, and this is a twisting kind of thing. So you have to just twist it up and you'll see the product. So you get this much product that's 30 grams of product although you think this is very little because when you see it's just this much uh, but trust me guys for foundation stick you don't need that much product you just need a little bit uh, to apply like this you don't just scoop it out so you don't need that much product. Now talking about the cap of this product is it sturdy is it travel friendly now see it shuts with a click so you know it's very travel friendly and it's compact and you can carry it anywhere. Uh, in your clutch or in your purse or bag so it's safe to travel with this uh, so for packaging i'll give this foundation full marks now let's see what they claim about the product uh, full coverage foundation that gives flawless coverage hides blemishes acne scars and evens out skin tone uh, easy to apply stick formula melts into skin blending seamlessly leaves a fresh dewy finish can be used as a foundation contour or highlighter available in 18 shades in a range of undertones vegan and cruelty free formulation uh, i had already worn this for one entire day to test it and you know to understand how this works i didn't wear any primer or powder i just wanted to know how the foundation fared on its own so i'll leave the clips of uh, me wearing the foundation at different points of time so that you can see how it performed now uh, i'll show you how you can apply this and how easily it blends and all those things and then i'll uh, later on jump into my detailed opinion on this product uh, i'll talk about the longevity the price point the shades available and uh, if it's good enough for you to purchase it with your hard-earned money i'll show you the hand swatches of uh, both the shades this is F5 and this is F8. So let's see what they have said about the shades. F5 is for light skin tones with pink undertones, while F8 is for medium skin tones with yellow undertones. So that's what they have claimed. And uh, this is F5 and F8. And as you can see, this is not for uh, pink undertone, obviously, because it has a lot of yellow undertone, while this one looks more like it has pink undertone. That is F8, which they have claimed is... Uh, more for yellow undertone so I don't understand uh, how the description matches the foundation stick uh, I clearly feel it's not uh, right so let's just try it on the face as well so you guys can see how the shades are so I'll apply it here this is F5 so this is how F5 looks like now I'll swatch F8 this is how F8 looks like so both looks very similar but uh, the difference that I feel is that F5 is with yellow and this is uh, more like pink undertone that's why I was confused about which shade to choose so I feel that their description is not the perfect uh, way to describe the shades because it's kind of wrong or misleading one side of my face I'll use the use my beauty blender while the other side I'll use my foundation brush I'm not using any sort of primer. I just want to show you guys how this uh, performs on its own uh, so you have a better idea of the texture of the foundation. I'm taking F5 first. It's very creamy, very creamy as in you don't have to, you know, it doesn't pull at your skin. You just have to apply and it just glides on like butter. So that's how creamy this product is. 
I'm taking a uh, beauty blender to spread it out in this side and here I'm using a brush. See, it blends very easily. I didn't apply that much pressure. I just had this uh, dabbing motion and it spread kind of easily. So as you can see, I applied this and it looks luminous now until it's this glazing finish now. So the light is being reflected uh, here in my highest point. So it's actually reflecting light. Let's just mix F8 as well. And uh, from this, you can also see if layering up is okay for this foundation because I'm applying uh, foundation over what I have applied. And for the uh, coverage, I guess this is buildable because initially I could see this mark. Now, after applying this foundation once more, the mark has completely hidden. Like it's still peeping through, but I'm sure I can hide it through. Hide it uh, if I pack on more foundation. So uh, this is how the foundation looks like, looks like with the uh, beauty blender. There's this uh, glow and it has blended seamlessly. There's no patchiness whatsoever. As you can see, the skin just glows. Let's see how it performs with the brush. I'm taking a flat top dual fiber brush and I'm blending it. So this is how the foundation looks like with the brush. Uh, blendability wise, it blends very easily with both brush and the blender and uh, the pigmentation has not been affected with uh, whatever blender you use. So I guess with both blender and also the brush, you get good coverage and it blends easily also. It just melts into your face. That's the first most important thing you'll notice. I've just used F5 on the side and F8 and F5 on the side. I like this side better because of the fact that uh, my skin has a prominent un a yellow undertone and F5 has this yellow undertone. This is more like a natural finish. So if you have my skin undertone, I guess F5 will work for you. So if you have a pink undertone, uh, but my skin shade, but just un pink undertone, uh, then you should probably go for F8. So if you're a person who likes uh, matte formulas, a matte finish, I don't think you like this foundation because it's mostly, it's, it is a dewy foundation. It as like, uh, like they have claimed, it is a very dewy foundation. It covers the marks pretty well and I'm impressed with the coverage. Even if you feel like this is too much oil, you can obviously set it with powder. When I tested it, I didn't do that, but still it lasted on me for quite some time. But obviously when, if you, you know, go out and sweat and travel a lot, I guess this foundation will become too oily that you can uh, bloat it using a uh, bloating paper or tissue or you can powder your face with a compact. So uh, either way, this foundation gives me a good coverage and a good finish. I'm ha very happy. It gives that healthy glow. In matte foundations, I have noticed that uh, my skin looks less hydrated. So always your skin looks uh, younger. If it's plumper and uh, you know moisture, it has moisture, then it looks healthier and younger. So this foundation gives my skin that kind of uh, look. So I wore this for around eight hours and it stayed pretty good till uh, late night i'll show you how it looks like uh, with the powder on i'm taking this face palette uh, and i'm taking this uh, uh, powder here and applying it all over my face so you'll see how it looks like instantly it mattifies and there's uh, no luminosity whatsoever So this is how my face looks like with powder on. This has settled into a matte finish so there's no luminosity uh, and you can hence convert this foundation to a matte foundation with a powder and it will look good on you as well. So if I were to give the pros and cons of the foundation, pros will be firstly the packaging is very travel friendly, sturdy and compact. Uh, second, the foundation uh, price is very reasonable, uh, it's 850 for 30 grams of product and it's very economical. Third, the coverage, you can get uh, full coverage mostly and you can layer up uh, to get more coverage without looking cakey. 
uh, fourth the shade range available lots of shades are available with different undertones so you can pick and choose your right shade uh, fifthly the application is very smooth you, it glides on like a dream uh, sixth it gives your skin a dewy finish and uh, makes your skin look healthy uh, adding a natural glow to your face seventh you don't even feel like you have anything on your face it's so lightweight now let's discuss about the cons of the uh, foundation first will be that the availability of the shade is a very big concern because mostly it's out of stock secondly uh, the description of the shades that they have given in the website is misleading and not the right or perfect description of the shade uh, and uh, third will be that if you have extremely oily skin you might not like this foundation uh, because it will make your skin look extra dewy so you might want to stay away from this foundation so overall I'm head over heels in love with this foundation it didn't oxidize on me uh, so that's one negative uh, for most of the foundation it oxidizes and leaves your skin looking dark and dull so this one didn't uh, oxidize on me but it might differ from person to person uh, so far I love this foundation and it has to be my go-to foundation from now on so if you like a dewy finished foundation or if you like a natural looking makeup you should definitely give this foundation a try uh, that's it for today's review. I hope this review has helped you figure out if this is the right foundation for you and also figure out the right shade for your skin tone. So if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your family and friends like I always say. Also, if you're watching me for the first time, uh, consider subscribing to my channel because I have planned out a lot of interesting stuff for you guys. Uh, so if you don't want to miss out on that, subscribe and also press the notification bell so that you'll stay updated. Also comment down your thoughts on this foundation uh, and also whatever you have to say about this video or uh, if you have any doubts or queries do let me know in the comments below so until next time stay happy stay beautiful